All right, so that's 314.7. 314.7. Ten thousand four hundred ninety times point zero three. We'll write the answers here. The mass three hundred fourteen point seven, and that's going to be kilograms. The weight is going to be ten times that mg, so it'll be three one four seven newtons. I want to know the buoyant force. I didn't say that, but if, I, if I'm going to calculate that, I'm going to need the buoyant force. So let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. This we don't need anymore. Okay. So the volume that's displaced is going to be 0 0.03 cubic meters, 0 0.03 cubic meters, so therefore, therefore, the buoyant force is going to be 1,000 times 10 times 0.03. That'll be my buoyant force, so that will be 10,000 times 0.03 is going to be 300. It's going to be 300. So the buoyant force equals 300 newtons. Okay? The buoyant force equals 300 newtons. Okay, now, the, the apparent weight, we're going to call it F sub capital A, the apparent weight is going to be the weight minus the buoyant force. So FA is going to be 3,147. 3,147 minus 300 newtons. And that's going to be minus 2,847 newtons. So that's going to be the apparent weight. Okay? Let's uh, redo, let's do another one. Uh, the one I did earlier in class. Let's erase this and we'll say that, we'll say that stone, we'll say stone is approximately twice the density of water. So the density of stone equals two times water. Okay? So I want to know I want to know the apparent weight. I want to know the apparent weight of 0.5 cubic meters of stone, 0.5 cubic meters of stone. All right, let's see. I want to know the weight of the stone. I want to know the mass of the stone. I want to know the buoyant force of the stone, on the stone. And I want to know the apparent weight of the stone. Okay, so the volume is going to be 0.5, it's going to be 0.5 cubic meters, all right? The density is going to be 2,000, 2,000 kilograms per cubic meter, that's going to be the density of the stone, it's twice water, water is 1,000, twice 1,000 is 2,000, so... <clears throat> The mass is going to equal rho V, which will be 1,000 kilograms, half, the half, 0.5 times 2,000 is 1,000. So this is going to be 1,000 kilograms 
this will be 10,000 newtons, okay? Now, I know that the buoyant force is going to be density times 10 times the volume, right? So it'll be, it'll be 1,000, which is the density of the fluid, times 10 times 0.5. So that's going to be 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. Then half of that will be 5,000. So the buoyant force will be 5,000 newtons. Well, if the weight is 10,000 newtons and the buoyant force is 5,000 newtons, then the, then the apparent weight is 5,000 newtons. Easy? Not bad. It's a process. All right. I'm going to stop. We'll come back and we'll do two more, and then we'll quit. Okay? Be right back.